This is the now second. This is a weekly wrap up, a little quick little wrap up. Last Friday night was the the live stream. It was a blast. It's four hours. We're calling it the layer cake. It seems like that's gonna stick. If you were there, you know why it's called the layer cake. If you weren't there, you have about twelve uh, till the end of Sunday usually to find out. Otherwise, you have to be a member. Um, we had a great time. It was a good discussion. We had a lot of laughs. We talked about a lot of music production stuff. Talked about some YouTube channels. Talked about the space. I love that the space. I've heard that I've heard that reference to a bunch of in, in a bunch of YouTube videos, not just in the music thing. Everyone refers to their to their niche as the or niche as the the space. Um, even if you're a gear reviewer, you're in the, you're in the space, a space. So the title that I put on this is that, um, that music is terrible, but a whole bunch of people love it. And this is in response a little bit to some of the stuff we talked about last night and even some things that I've watched during the week or read or listened to. You always hear that argument, like, you know, that music, that's terrible, that sucks, that uh, doesn't take any talent, That's that music's successful because there's a whole bunch of money behind it. Some of these things can be true, but if people love it, people love it. You can't really... You can fool people a little bit or at least get, get things in front of them possibly, but inevitably they will decide whether they like it or not. The public will decide. They don't the, – the, the big numbers don't ever say to themselves like, we all hate this music, but we're in this together. There's, there, there's a decision moment where people just say, this is, this is what we like and this is what we don't like. And I've seen that with – all kinds of genres, rock, pop, metal, uh, hip hop, rap, uh, boy bands, bedroom pop, disco pop, emo, you name it. They've all had huge successes and a whole bunch of people also saying that it's terrible. It's not terrible. It's just not for you, but it's for a whole bunch of people. Um, EDM, same thing. I mean, I, I can watch a million YouTube videos of EDM DJs doing sets where there's just gazillions of people freaking out over the DJ playing whatever music he's playing, whatever set or she. There's, there's definitely a lot of female DJs now. Um, I don't know where that all, I know I, it's always a fun debate, you know, whether, whether something is terrible, whether a genre is terrible, you know, trap, trap sucks, you know, all that kind of argument that you hear. Rap sucks. Rock sucks. Rock's dead. Classic rock sucks. This is a boomer thing. Um, somebody likes it. It exists. It does big numbers. All those genres do big numbers. Country, country pop, new country. A lot of people say new country is terrible. Seems to be a whole bunch of people that also like it or love it. Um, the layer cake. You got to get into the layer cake. That's the Friday night stream. We're doing it at 6 o'clock. Um, somehow it went four hours I don't know if I could ever, I don't know if I could do more than four. I don't know if everybody else could do more than four. Although it was very consistent. The room was full, like, or, you know, like at a normal capacity the, the entire time. There is no capacity. But um, I also came across some videos somewhat similar to the That Music is Terrible. Um, a couple of guys evaluating other producers maybe up-and-coming producers, new guys, and um, 
guy didn't have much of a track record, but they were sort of trying to investigate him to see like what what it was all about. And uh, apparently the guy wanted to charge a certain number, which was, I don't know, I think it was around 750 for a song. And I mean, immediately go, went through my head was like, that's ridiculously cheap. Um, <laughs> you don't, you don't hire producer slash engineers co-writer of any worth for seven hundred dollars. I don't know if you can't wrap your head around it that there's not a lot of those records that are huge with you know zero cost. You know the race to zero. Um, if you want to race to the bottom and not believe that you're worth more than minimum wage because i will tell you that you're not doing i mean you're not doing anything of quality for five or six hours so you're not making a hundred dollars an hour you're making you're probably going to be making like 18 dollars an hour which what you're telling me is that that's what you're worth if you say that's too much it is for some people it's not i mean i could I used to, I was that guy. I was, a, you know, the young guy who would say like, why would Jim Steinman, you know, of massive fame and the production tip and songwriting tip, why would Jim Steinman spend all this money making records? You know, we're in the studio for 17 days on a song or two and we're spending all kinds of, he's spending all kinds of the label's money and the artist's money on this and that. Um, I'll tell you why. He, he sold 35, 40 million records of a couple of, a, of an album. It's, it's, there is, it is a factor. Investing in your, your product is a factor. And it can contribute to success. Cutting corners is, is not the way to go with art. In my experience. I used to kind of like, you know, think like, hey, you know, you should uh, watch the budget. And of course, you have to be aware of, of what your budget is, but you should be trying to figure out how to invest in your art, invest in your product. Look at the guys and, the, you know, the artists that are hugely successful. Big investments, big investments, big gambles. They put all the chips in whether you like it or not whether you want to think it's something that there's some other hocus pocus going on that causes these records to be gigantic um i beg to differ i think the track record is there big investment equals big record big investment equals big artist big star big production it's just reality if you want to work for $18 an hour, if you want to pay $18 an hour to have your record made, you're going to get an $18 an hour record. Uh, it's another one of those rants, I guess, in some ways. I, I'm not pissed off about anything, but I'm just trying to maybe point out to some other producers and artists that, like, you know, don't think, don't think cheap. Don't think small. Don't don't think low ball. You know, don't be stupid with your money, of course. But think about investing in what the hell you're doing. Think about working with, like, the best people, not the cheapest. Um, there is a difference. I hate to break it to you, but, like, there is a difference. And one of the excuses one of the guys made was that, like, well, you got to know somebody. To, you got to know somebody to, to get in or whatever. No, they, got, they have to know you. Like, I know plenty of people in power that have nephews and sons and cousins and daughters. And even with that power, they can't pull a turd across the finish line. It's, you know, occasionally they can. But even the ones that get a break because they know somebody, they... they they bring it to fruition. There's, it's not often that someone is talentless 
doesn't have anything to offer, but they're hooked up. And the people that hook them up are able to fool the masses. It's just, I've seen it not work so many times where there was a little bit of like, hey, let's just try and make this happen for so-and-so because she's so-and-so's goddaughter. And it, it fails, you know. But I have seen it work where, you know, hey, let's just try and make this thing work because it's so-and-so's goddaughter. And so-and-so's goddaughter brings something to the table and brings some talent or some energy on their own to make the art connect, transcend. As usual, you could take it for what it's worth. Check out the layer cake. In particular, the uh, the ending, the little speech by the proverbial bad guy. It's close to the end. Daniel Craig, a couple other people, the layer cake. And it's our Friday night stream also. Hope you had a good weekend.